In this lesson, we want to explain the tool for creating accurate and complete reflections on objects. To begin with, go into the tool section and then reflection props. These tools are used to when you want the reflections created on objects to be well and completely applied. The software itself creates this reflection well automatically, but it's not complete. For example, this spherical object, it has a mirror material on it. As you can see, the reflections of environment are not properly visible on the surface of the object. And we use the props to correct this problem. Use the sphere reflection props for objects that, uh, like that are a spherical shape. Easily click and drag and place it inside the scene and try to place the object exactly in the middle of it and now as you can see all the reflection of the environment are well visible on the surface okay in a sitting section you can enable or disable it to see the effect but for for example, we bring this person closer to the surface and moving. The software itself update the reflection as much as possible, but use the update for any reason that the reflection are not applied well by moving the object around the sphere. Okay. As we can see, we can update the reflections. In a brightness, you can control how dark or light the reflection are on the surface of the object. Okay. Let's give another example to explain size. This mirror. Okay. We give it a box reflection props. Well, now we make the size one meter. As you can see, this size means the amount of reflection on a target object. The reflection on the object are created only up to the border of this box, as you can see. Now we increase the size. As you can see, the size of the reflections increases, which is unnormal. So you cannot use the props to correct the reflection on all objects of the scene. Try create a separate props for each object that is important to you. Just keep in mind that no matter how many objects are inside the props, the reflection will be corrected. Okay, we back the size to one meter to explain the transition. The transition is to create a fade between the area where the full reflection are applied to the border of edge of the box, as you can see. Then you change the size. It's a fading of reflection to the border, which gently reduces the reflection to the reach the margin, margin of the box. And there is no transition option in a sphere mode. In a sphere mode, just we have size. And in a scene manager, you can click any prop that you create in scene. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that release.